Police say they will return to Whakari White Island tomorrow morning to bring back the bodies of those still there. The death toll from Monday's eruption stands at eight, with two more people dying in hospitals overnight. Eight people remain on the island, missing, presumed dead. It comes as Whakatane Hospital staff spoke today about the influx of patients on Monday afternoon. The hospital had recently held a mass casualty training exercise, but nothing could prepare them for the number of patients or the severity of the injuries they received. Health Minister David Clark visited the hospital's emergency department today for the first time since the eruption to thank staff. And the medical leader of Whakatane Hospital, Dr Heike Hundemir, said what she faced on Monday was beyond comprehension. Normally, on a typical day in our emergency department, we would have about six nurses and two doctors on duty. On Monday, once we knew the extent and severity of the casualties, I think there would have been about 100 staff in our emergency department, acute care unit and theatres. We used every single bed space, every resource we had to care for those people. To put this in perspective, if we saw one patient with the severity of burns that we treated that day, this would have been a significant event for our small hospital and would have activated our trauma team. Monday is beyond anything we would have anticipated. I've worked in major centres in Germany as well as in New Zealand. I've never seen this number of critically injured patients coming into an emergency department in a short space of time. Our staff are deeply impacted by what they saw. We are a tight team in a small community. Some of those people who have lost their lives were known to our staff. It was important to me to give some comfort to every patient I treated that day. I told them they were in good hands with a professional team. We are professionals and compassionate people. Those patients we treated and comforted will forever stay in our minds. And Whakatane Hospital coordinator David Van Dyke is a registered nurse of 22 years and has worked in hospitals across New Zealand and the UK. He said what he experienced on Monday was devastating. At the heart of our hospital are our people. They all rose to the needs of our community and work beyond what was there anyone would expect of them. The entire hospital was involved in responding to the tragic event that we were faced with. As well as the doctors and nurses, we had occupational therapists, physiotherapists, social workers, healthcare assistants, podiatry, radiographers, our regional Maori health. We had staff from the public health, staff from stores, our kitchens, and our labs and our pharmacists our admin staff, our orderlies and security, our facilities and engineers, our cleaners and volunteers, who all came together to do what they could. It was all hands on deck. We're extremely grateful for the support we received from the GPs and the health professionals in our community. When they heard what had happened, they came to the hospital with their skills and knowledge and were ready to help wherever they could. I want to acknowledge the support we've received from colleagues in DHBs all over the country. Your kindness and generosity has meant a lot to us at this time. I couldn't be more proud of how our hospital and wider community came together to do what we could for those people. As Heike has said, the compassion shown by our team when faced with this catastrophe was always there and still is. For many of us, it feels surreal. Everyone deals with tragic events in their own way, and many of us are still coming to terms with what happened. Our thoughts are with the victims who remain in hospital, those that sadly didn't survive, and their families and their friends. And that's David Van Dyke, who is the Whakatane Hospital Coordinator. Obviously, that was the hospital that received a huge number of patients on Monday after the eruption on White Island.